Now I add an image below this paragraph containing images of John's family. For that, I open a div tag from the 17th line. Now open an image tag in the 18th line in the middle of these tags. Now img src equals open double quotation. Click the asset in this panel on the left side and select the family.jpg picture. Give copy URL from this interface and copy the URL of the picture. Now come back to the index.html section and paste the copied URL in this quotation here. Now use the forward slash and the angle bracket to close this tag. Now let's see the output of this imported image. Click on the refresh icon on the previously opened preview window. Now you can see our output. Now I want to enter their name under each image and click on that name to link to the charity service performed by that person at the bottom of the page. Now I come back to the HTML page and in the 19th line, I open a tag href equals double quotation is used. Since we haven't created the relevant part yet, it is used it like this for now. Enter twice next to a close tag and take it to the 21st line. Now type as Grandpa Jones in the 20th line. Now I add the name of the other family members in the same way. In the 22nd line, I open a tag href equals double quotation is used. Enter twice next to the a close tag and take it to the 24th line. Now type as Papa Jones in the 23rd line. In this way, I use a href equals double quotation to enter the name of Mama Jones in the 25th line. Enter twice next to the a close tag and move to the 27th line. Now type as Mama Jones in the 26th line. From the 28th line, I open an a tag href equals double quotation. Enter twice next to a close tag and move to the 30th line. Now type me Junior Jones in the 29th line. Now we have finished entering the anchor tags for all four names. Now the div tag related to this part ends in the 31st line. Now let's see how it will be displayed. Now click the refresh icon in the previously opened preview window. The names we type are here, but I need to take these four names to the corresponding images. I will create some CSS codes to make this section. Go to the style.css page on the left panel. In the 14th line, I write down the style related to the A tag. Here, I change the color of the A tag. A class called dot tree is created in the 17th line. Here, I give as position colon relative. I told you that I will teach you something new today. Today, we are talking about positions. If you want to move these four names in the relevant image, we definitely need positions. From that, we can move the corresponding name to the image. There are several types of positionings. Here, I use a relative position. From that, we can position the desired element relative to where it is. I am going to position these names inside the class called tree. Now I give the size of this class as height colon 800px semicolon. Now according to the size of this class, the name we give will be position. Also, we can adjust the position of the element by using top, bottom, left, right. Now the class containing these four names is finished. Now let's prepare the places where those names should be placed by name to name. I create a class called Grandpa from the 21st line. Here, I give as position colon absolute semicolon. I told you earlier that there are several types of position. So earlier, we used the relative position. Now I'm using the absolute type. We can create an element of this type in such a way that it overlaps. Now I adjust the width of this section. Now it is given how much the element should be from the upper part. Next, it is given how much to the right side. Now I have prepared the position of the word Grandpa Jones. Now in the 27th line, let's create a class corresponding to the position where the word Papa Jones is positioned. The class called dot father is created from this line. Here it is given as position colon absolute semicolon. This word is also given in the corresponding value for width 
top left so that it could be positioned. From the 33rd line, I create the class related to the word called Mama Johns. I will name that class as dot mom. In the 34th line, it is given as position colon absolute semicolon. As before, I enter the values of width, top, left related to these words in the lines. Now in the 39th line, create the class related to the word Junior Jones. I will name that class as dot kids. In the 40th line, it is given as position colon absolute semicolon. As before, I enter the values of width, top, right related to these words in these lines. Now I have finished creating the class related to these words and now we will assign the created class to the div tag and the anchor tag we have created before. Now I go to the index page. In the 17th line, we assign the tree class we created to the div tag we created. Now let's assign the created class to the anchor tags as well. First, to the anchor tag in the 19th line, I assign the class called Grandpa as class equals double quotation Grandpa inside it. To the anchor tag in the 22nd line, I will assign the class we created called Father. In the 25th line, assign the class named Mom to the anchor tag. The class named Kid is assigned to the anchor tag in the 28th line. Now we have finished assigning these classes. Now let's see if these names are correctly positioned. Click the refresh icon in the previously opened preview window. Look, the names are displayed under the corresponding image now as we want. 